Newton's third law of motion said that if an object exerts a force on the other, the other object also exerts force towards it with equal magnitude. And what will happen if two balls with different masses collide with each other? Hello, my dear students! Welcome to another day of our lesson. And our lesson for today is the continuation of our past lesson on impulse and momentum. Hope you like it! Suppose two balls of different masses collide with each other. During collision, the two balls gain the same momentum but in opposite direction. Since the balls have different masses, they will accelerate differently from Newton's second law of motion. In studying momentum of two or more colliding objects, we will consider a closed system or isolated system. It is considered a closed system if no one enters or leaves in it, hence, no external force is exerted on it and like air resistance, friction, and the like. In collision, whether it is elastic or inelastic, momentum is known to be conserved. This is because of the law of conservation of momentum. Marahil itatanong nyo, what is the law of conservation of momentum? Well, students, get your notes and pens and start to jot down notes. The law of conservation of momentum states that when two objects in an isolated system collides, the total momentum of the objects before the collision is equal to the momentum of the objects after the collision. Thus, in mathematical formula, P is equal to P prime. If you have two objects in collision, you can rewrite the equation as where M sub 1 is the mass of the object 1, M sub 2 is the mass of the object 2, V sub 1 is the velocity of object 1, V sub 2 is the velocity of object 2, which is before collision, and V sub 1 is the velocity of object 1 after the collision. V sub 2 is the velocity of object 2. Replace that with a given data on the problem. Oh, by the way, if you find this symbol, it denotes velocity after collision. Let us now have sample problem 1. A car with 1,000 kg mass is moving at a velocity of 5 m per second to the left, collides with a car with the same mass moving at 10 m per second to the right. What is the velocity of the second car? If the velocity of the first car after the collision is 2 meter per second to the right. My dear students, ito lang ang dapat tandaan in solving problem. First step, identify the problem. You are asked to determine the velocity of the second car after the collision. Step 2 is to identify the given problem. Write the given data. Step 3. Use the equation. Three thousand kilogram meter per second over one thousand kilogram is equals to one thousand kilogram 
velocity 2 prime over 1000 kilogram. Now class, you have to cancel the same unit, which is the kilogram. And step 4, get the answer. So the answer is, velocity 2 prime is equals to 3 meters per second. Therefore, the velocity of the car is 3 meters per second to the right. Okay, dear students, try this sample problem number two. In trying to solve this problem, again, let us follow the steps. For your answer, velocity prime is equal to 2 meter per second. This is also the velocity of the combined gliders. Well students, this ends our lesson for today. Don't forget to watch all the video lessons and subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for any updates. Keep on watching! Abangan na naman po ang susunod pa nating video lessons at ito ay makakatulong sa inyo. Ito na naman po si Teacher Ma'am Kiyang Kiyang.